Okay, so the third part of our framework is our actions that you as an applicant can take prior to actually submitting your application itself. You know, thus far we've talked about uh, things that are basically descriptive of your history. You really can't change them in the first two parts of our discussion. So this third part is really about being strategic in your planning, in how you select schools, and how you complete a well thought out application that will hopefully differentiate you. So some ex specific examples would include things like the following. First, completing and excelling in getting at least a B, if not hopefully an A, in a business related course. Uh, this is going to somewhat improve the um, impression of the admission committee on your analytical skills, but it's not totally going to um, address a low GMAT score. This is particularly relevant if your GMAT quant score is weak, or if you're in a if you had an undergraduate major that was in a non-technical field or non-quantitative field like the humanities, for example. Obviously, make sure that your grade is available um, when you apply to business schools, and take or consider taking a class in statistics, finance, or accounting, because these are all uh, classes that you would take in the first year of an MBA program. And finally, try to take the, the, the class to the extent that you can at an accredited and prestigious school or the, the, the most prestigious school that you can afford and have access to where you live. Second concept would be to actually retake the GMAT test itself. Uh, you're going to only, only want to do this, though, if you think that you can improve your score significantly, for example, 30, 40 points, or if you can get into the 700s, for example, if you were just going from 690 to 700, having that 7 in front of your score, we in our prior research shows that that has a, a positive effect. Look at your practice test history to see where your scores were at relative to what your previous um, actual GMAT scores were. Uh, keep in mind that you might not actually improve very much, and you may actually um, do worse in subsequent tests. Um, and finally, don't retake the GMAT if it's going to distract you from the rest of your applications if you're, if you're in the fall and into the application season. With your recommender's stories um, and what they talk about in, in, in their application for you, in your resume, during your interviews, in your essays, um, all that combined, if you've got a low quant split on GMAT and or if you've got a non-technical background, Think about telling a higher proportion of stories in those, those uh, areas that I gave that are linked to you mastering a subject, or talking about your analytical skills and problem solving, or you getting up to speed on a complex issue. Conversely, if you've got a low verbal GMAT score, and, and or especially if you've got a technical background, tell, think about talking about a higher proportion of stories that are linked to you and your leadership skills, and your communication, and your presentation, and your persuasion. And the idea here is that you really want to try to overcome the biases that admission committee members may already have about you, given your GMAT score and your academic and your work history. Don't, another, another concept, don't just research the school. Uh, go beyond researching the school and develop relationships to prove interest, uh, to prove that sincere interest. You know, you can develop meaningful alumni and student relationships, and hopefully you, you'd want to try to do that in a way that is with people who have multiple similarities in terms of your background that will be easier to build rapport that way both ways because these people could become and can become champions for your advocacy uh, and they can help to some extent with your chances. You know, Oringo has developed some expertise and guidelines for, for applicants and how to navigate this process. And as a separate point within this overall idea, mentioning these relationships and what you discussed in the communications within and inside your essays um, can help to convince schools that you do have a sincere interest in their program and help your chances. From a career goals standpoint in your essays and any application overall, you want to be articulating goals for a career that are specific, that are realistic, that are exciting, and that are differentiated. You want to hit on all of those. You know, many MBA applicants are career switchers and they talk about exciting career goals. And that's perfectly fine and it's frankly expected. The challenge though, and a common mistake that we see with a number of applicants is that if you list exciting goals but you don't provide enough specifics or if you don't provide a logical link to the past, it's hard for the committee to think to it's hard for the committee to believe that you've thought through this enough and that it's a it's a believable realistic shot for your career. So instead, consider plans that you're interested in and write about career plans that do have some connection with your past, whether it's industry or function or skills that you might bring to the table that are relevant for that career field for them, for the admission committee to make that, and for them to be uh, thinking that's more realistic for you. 
Be specific. Talk about specific companies, specific industries and sub-industries, geographies and functions um, that you've, based on your research, that would describe why it's a fit with you and your background. From a strategy standpoint in picking schools and where to apply, target schools to the extent possible that have a relatively small percentage or proportion of applicants where the background or characteristics of applicants is similar to you. Uh, and choose a mix of schools that are across the rankings that you would still consider um, attending. For example, if you're an engineer and you've got a low GMAT score and you're, attend you're uh, looking to apply to MIT Sloan, which has a very high number of engineering ap applicants relative to the number of spots, it's going to be difficult, not impossible, but difficult for you to get admission because it's going to be harder for you to differentiate yourself with that low GMAT score. So therefore, research the demographic and geographic and industry makeup of schools and their classes to understand where you may have an opportunity. Now, we're not saying to give up on a dream school or a set of dream schools, but just apply or consider applying across a reasonable uh, uh, range of rankings of schools that you consider attending to give you an improved um, admission shot. Again, on the selecting and targeting schools topic, um, go ahead and try to target schools if you can, if you've got a low GMAT, that place relatively low or lower weight on the GMAT itself. Now you might be asking, well, that's great, but what are those schools that have that lower weight? On Oringo.com, you can find out how much um, importance each admission driver of the multitude of admission drivers has on, um, on each program, for example, on the analytical skills or communication. And you'll also find application tips for each program. Just within Oringo.com, you'll want to click on the Top Programs button to find some of that information. A few closing remarks. You know, obviously, every applicant and his or her story is unique. Focus on the key issues that are most relevant to you, your background, your history, and your story. Today, to deal with a low GMAT score, we've talked about additional intellectual accomplishments and undergraduate context that you can provide, along with this notion of providing superior essays and recommendations and interviews done in a strategic way in your application. To, pr to provide uh, uh, further information if you're interested or to discuss your admission chances uh, with an Oringo expert who's got a background similar to you, please contact us at Oringo.com. I want to thank you very much for watching today and best of luck with your applications.